Well, I mean, there's a lot to, um, there's a lot to unpack, right, bro. You know anything? Um, so, I just don't know where to start, I'll be honest. I can't, I don't blame you. You go your heart, Even, like, you guys really want to hear, like... I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, Zeus kind of told us some shit, but like, I don't know what you know. Nah, I've, I've saw what Zeus said in here, it's kind of wrong. So, basically, Turk and I were together. Um, we wake up in the hospital. Well, I don't see Turk at this moment, so I get a call from Marlo. And Marlo says, Yo, you all right? I said, No, he says, Turk and you just got shot out. We crashed into you, and then, um, we, like, we had a little accident. The next thing you know, you get shot. I said, okay, what the hell? He says, yeah, it could be a dark blue, uh, it was a dark blue gauntlet. And it was a white sentinel with tealish blue neons. So it was not in the local car. So we didn't actually know it was not in the local car until the second time I got she dumped. And I get told that it could be ADMC from, from Barlow. I talked to ADMC, um, I talked to literally every single gang in the whole city. Ballas, Fargos, ADMC, um, Saints, BBMC, uh, Legion, Cast Legion, whatever. Goddamn Hades, cause Marlo, um, fuck you name it, right? Typers. Now, I, I ask every single gang, right, and I tell them my, my SIM card got taken, my phone got taken, my phone. Uh, shit, got taken. And they go, okay, well, the only gangs that do that are Ballas and Cypress. And basically, everyone said that besides BBMC and... No, just BBMC, only BBMC. Just give me, like, ten seconds while it's hard to talk. Who's about to cry? <laughs> so... Um... I'm talking to everyone I see in the city. And... We go in different garages, I'm calling around, uh, and then I see the lady at the hospital. He's in the gauntlet with all the cypress, and I go, um, said so Larry, I'll see Zeus as well, and then we're talking to Larry and Zeus, and, um, Larry says, no, I don't know if we did it or whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll call you if I know anything. And then the manor calls me and they said, well, what you said, it could be, um, I was thinking it could be cypress. He says, he said, I know, um, Marty, Larry, and Luciano's around. And I said, okay. So I called Larry and I said, is Luciano around? He says, um, I don't know, because before he told me it was just him and who was in the gauntlet. So he says, okay, I'm going to call and see if he's around. I said, okay. He never calls me back for like two fucking hours. But he's around. Then, um, uh, I called Marty, same thing, I asked him to see if Luciano's around, he said, I, if, even if he did do that, I would not tell you. I said, okay, that's fair. And so I said, okay, well, can you see if he's around? He said, okay, I'll check if he's around. He never calls me again. So, okay, so I go down to Cyprus to see if, um... I'm not gonna lie. Me and Thomas go down to Cyprus to check the garage to see if it was, um... In the garage, because at this time we didn't know if it was a local or not. And then, uh, that mother sucker... Fuck, I don't know his name. One of the mother suckers in Cypher is sitting there, and... I asked him, like, do you guys have one of these cars in your garage? Said, and he's just sitting there, like, Unc stun locked, and he's, like, getting real is just eating, getting like, elicited. He's like, I don't know what you think, like, who you are, or whatever, but, like, type shit, you know? So I'm going... Like, like, motherfucker, I would come down here, like, if it was me, I would say, okay, and I'm trying to clean my gang's name, I would say, okay, just go look, you know? Um, I'm trying to piece, I'm fucking trying to remember the timeline. So I said, okay, well, they might try to take the cars out of the garage. So I dress up in a van, and I go on the bridge, and I'm scanning over the, the, the garage. Um, I don't see nothing. I leave. Um, I probably gun off Zeus. Um, and then the last phone call I got was from Marlon. 
and then Larry, and then Tim and Slater, Thomas, from the victory, right? Thomas. So, call Thomas after I get out the hospital, and he says I just woke up at the hospital as well. And I call Larry and I text him, got an answer, no answers. Call Marlo, he um, tells me that it was not a local car, we talk a little more. He said it's got tealish blue neons. And so I said, okay, well, um, wow. the only thing I can think of is trying to find who owns like a tealish blue um, neon like white sentinel. In dark blue garments. So I go to City Hall and I'm... The only person I can think of is Luciano. Because they wouldn't tell me if he's around or not. It's the only person I would think of looking up. So I look at Luciano. And there's a... A, a, um, a Lampadarium. And I said, could it be a white Lampadarium to Marlon? And he said, yes it could. And so, um, so I went to the garage here, and I was trying to see if anyone took out a, a car here recently, from when that happened. And 12 Gage was the last one who took a car out. I tried contacting him for like two hours after that, and he wasn't around, so I don't know what happened to him, but... That's for where I left off, you know. There's no way Love Boy. There's no way Love Boy is listening to this, bro. There's no way Love Boy is listening to this. I don't believe that Love Boy is listening to this. Girl, the manor was around. ADMC was around, but he was at the block the whole day. I only got texted like three times. Marlo from Hades was around. BBMC was around, but they have they have like um underglows. Marlo said the car didn't have underglows. What's this? And uh, I don't know what else to add, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish I remembered. Yo! I can't believe it. Did Marlo hear the people talking out of the car? No, he, he first told me he thought it was ADMC. <laughs> That's why I wanted to go talk to him like three times. Maybe she said, I'm not a pussy, I would say not if I, I did something like that. And then I said, okay, well, then I want to go talk to different people like at different times. And then it was all like caught off guard, like they didn't. Know what I was talking about? So, well, like, like, um, he said, no, we've been here all the time, whatever. And they also had no white sentinel. And all the cars were local, like, gauntlets. Oh, but I think the, I think the best option we have is trying to figure out who owns the white car with blue underlights. Like, that's the thing that narrows down the most. Not underlights. The so, neons. Blue neons. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Like, uh, gauntlets, like, whatever, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody drives a fucking gauntlet, so. Oh, but not Google many. It. I'm not sure if it had Chilish Blue Neon as well. Not many people have. Uh, fucking, not many people uh, have a white center with uh, blue neons, though, right? So I could definitely narrow it down. Okay. Been in the cross. Your love more. Yo. What did What did Jack say? I was listening to the whole thing. I mean, can we not go check Cypress uh, garage? It's not a local car. It's a personal car. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you can park personal cars in there too, right? But why? I don't think I don't think you can. Oh, okay. why don't you no, grab you somebody, torture them? How about you keep targeting one guy in each gang? Just keep picking him up and ocean dumping him, picking him up and ocean dumping him until he talks. That could be a start. Why get picked up in the first place? We can't just ocean dump people, man. We need a reason. Yeah, if we keep ocean dumping them, we just keep forgetting why we're picking them up. Just leave a note in his pocket each time with a picture of him on a pier. <laughs> Trying to teach people a lesson they'll never fucking remember, man. Doesn't make sense. They'll get it eventually. Jack's being with fucking Aquaman, bro. I'm getting the ocean down every 10 fucking seconds. Well, I mean, a lot of people here have been ocean dumped, Why apparently. Not in fucking, not in the same day, not twice in the same day. I mean, ain't it all connected? Who do you think it is, Jack? Oh, look who it is. 
If it isn't Mr. Hades, hang around himself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know to be honest. Ah, uh, Badal, Badal Romanov. Well, <laughs> Badal Romanov uh, is crazy. Tick Vidal Tak, bro. Mr. Vidal Sanchez. Vidal Ramos right here. <laughs> and also, the only people I called yesterday at all was Thomas, Larry, Marty, and Zeus. Yo, look. Lu and Lucas Marlo. for the two months, thank you so much. And um, some girl named Ivy from ADMC. Well, that was like four hours before them. Mm. Sorry about that. It was like Larry called 30 minutes ago, and then it was I called Thomas 20 minutes uh, ago, you know, so it was like 10 minutes apart. Yeah, I woke up at the hospital. So who do so you think it was, Big Dog? Um, well, after I, well, the only reason why I was, like, scaling out the Cypress area was because I thought it was a local car, but it's not a local car. Holy shit. So, I mean, it just matters who has that car, I guess. I don't know. Gotta go I'm to telling you, I talked to names. every single gang yesterday, and I'm not kidding you, every single one of them said, Oh, same car taken, oh, you ocean dumped, it sounds like Cypress, oh, well, and then Manor's the only one who said Ballas. But I talked to Ballas, and there was only one person around. I mean, I think our best option is to try and find that white car with blue underlight. Yeah, yeah. Over, I mean, nothing we can really do tonight, you know, so... Okay, that was kind of bizarre. <laughs> if y'all see a white... Could be Lampadati, could be Sentinel. But they have Tealish, Leon, and... Then that's the guy. Say less. So how are you feeling, Jack? Well, I'm pissed off. I'm not gonna let it slide at all. I'm, I'm surprised you're not fucking brain dead from how hot you been in the hell. You do seem it's a bit crusty on the edges. This guy, this guy, this guy, Jack go fucking uh, Thanos has his fucking up, bro. Ocean up twice. Fucking oh, Fountain. Fuck Aquaman, bro. What? Bro, hey, what bro, you gonna shit. do? What, what you gonna do to the guy once you find out who did it, Jack? What you gonna do to him? Shush. I'm gonna fuck him up. I mean, Set him on fire. Thank you, no, thank no. you. Nah, Set him on fire in Legion Square. Oh, he will be humiliated, bro. I mean, that motherfucker gonna die, you, you know? Catch, catch whoever did it, catch him and do a Salem witch trial in the middle of Legion Square. <laughs> you do look a little bit, little bit crusty know. and burnt over the edges there, Jake. You do seem mad. He's been Nobody else I don't know what I'm gonna do to him, man. But hopefully I got some shit for, like... I don't know, I don't do the... I don't know, I'll... I don't know, bro. Come on, you gotta be thinking of it. I mean, look what they did to you. It's kind of embarrassing. They ocean dumped you twice. Took your phone. They... Yeah, but what if it was uh, somebody really else that ocean stuff. dumped you the second time, though? What if it was somebody standing in this circle right now? 